Hello everyone, this is Chinmay from Megado Clinic. Welcome to our Tech Talk. As usual, we are here with another video and absolutely it's very important whenever you're riding your bike, whenever you're repairing your bike, what is the subject? The subject is checking around with your spark plug current. Just in case if you don't have any current, of course you have to, you know, think about all the uh, flow chart as I said before in my last video also. You should know which is the part is responsible for you know getting the spark. Now this is one of the part what we have chosen from one of the bike. This is called ignition coil. So the or the ST coil that means high tension coil. So in this case we have to check uh, which winding is gone. It has got two circuitry basically. One is the primary circuit and secondary circuit, right? So in this case what is wrong? We should know about it. If you have the database with you, like manual or something from the company side, so you you should know the database. Like what kind of a database? How much ohms or kilo ohms are coming out from the coil? It's most important. So that is written in the manual. It's not like randomly, sir. I'll buy it. Don't worry about it. I'll fix up your bike. Don't do that. So we have all the database with us. So this is one of the coil what we have chosen. I need the multimeter as usual. That is the most important thing what you should keep it with you all the time just in case if you are working on the bike. So if I'm going to check the ohms, that means I need to do the settings of the, you know, this multimeter. So which is the one which I'm going to use it is that first of all, I'm going to keep my multimeter on 20K as you can see on the LCD. This is 20k, right? I'm uh, I'm getting some number over here. So if you know, like, since I know the coil is from one of the bike, so I I know the number as well. So this is what you're going to see now. I'm going to check the primary circuitry first. So for primary circuitry, I need four to eight ohms. So is this right number 20k? No, that means I should come down to 200. So I'm going to check the primary circuitry first of all. Primary circuitry means the incoming line from the harness the connector right so there are two points basically which are given over there so as you can see i need four to eight ohms in between right so four to eight ohms in between that means i'm getting 5.5 so i'm okay with it that means there is no problem with the primary circuitry i'm going to check my secondary circuitry so circuit secondary circuitry is almost near about 14 to 18 oh, kilo ohms or 20 kilo ohms max so i'm going to keep my multimeter i'm going to set my multimeter to 20k that is, this is the ohm sign you should know some of the electronics because without that you can't go ahead so now the primary circuitry i have checked now secondary circuitry is like this way as you can see i'm getting 14.8 14.19 oh, kilo ohms that means the coil is perfect now which is the primary circuit and secondary circuit in this coil see this line is coming from CDA or the TCI unit this line this is obviously going on to your spark plug so this is secondary one point so the the remaining point which is coming from the harness itself that is constant positive current that means that is going to be your secondary circuitry which is connected to the you know HT coil that means in primary circuitry this is connected to I mean both the wires are connected to each other uh, through the winding right and the secondary winding is connected to each other through this positive cable and the ht output that means i'm going to check first of all this is primary circuitry and this wire the ht cable and the second wire is going to be your secondary you know circuitry so this is how it is shown in maximum all the manuals uh, for the bikes as well if you ask me about royal enfield classic 500 which has got single coil and double ht cable in that case also the procedure is absolutely same there is no change in that case so thanks for watching and stay connected for more technical videos so subscribe our channel like our channel and enjoy all the videos thank you